If you want to get started making money online, the easiest way to get started is affiliate marketing. Now, if you've never heard of affiliate marketing, the idea is pretty simple. You find products or services you love, you become a partner of the company selling them, and you then earn a commission for every sale you help facilitate. And the best part, you don't need a big audience to get started. If, and it is a big if, you choose the right products to promote, which we'll get to in a minute. So in this video, I want to do three things. First, I want to show you how much money I make every month from affiliate marketing. Secondly, I want to share my criteria for choosing the right affiliate programs. And then thirdly, I want to share four types of affiliate marketing programs that I would get started with. Part one, how much money I make from affiliate marketing. I make $190.40 from affiliate marketing every month. And it comes in every month. And the best part, I don't have to do anything to earn that affiliate income. It is completely passive. As a consultant, I help people crush it with online courses. And so we help build up their online platform, which includes their websites, sales pages, email sequences, and everything else they need in their online business. And I do all of that in Kajabi. It's a platform that does it all. And so that's a platform I personally use and also recommend to my clients. Now, typically, my clients do already have a Kajabi account, but if they don't have one already, I send them my personal Kajabi link so they can sign up with me, get an extended 30-day trial, and I get paid from Kajabi if they stay, which they always do because we ensure they succeed with Kajabi. I have referred Kajabi to paying members who pay Kajabi $199 per month. Let's just do the math. $199 per month times 30% equals $59.70 per month. Multiply that by two, and it adds up to $119.40 every month. Now, obviously, $119.40 every month is not a full-time income. It's not my main source of revenue in my business, but it's very reliable. I can bank on being paid $190.40 every month. So if you already have paying clients, my question would be, what tools or services do your clients need anyways that you could refer them to? Part two, choosing the right affiliate programs. When choosing programs that I want to promote, I basically look for three things. First, I got to love the product. Whatever I refer, I get associated with. So I have to absolutely believe in the value of the product. If I don't love it, I won't promote it. And that's so important because if you're referring something to your audience, then you're leveraging the trust you've already established. And if you recommend a terrible product that makes you a good commission but doesn't add value to the customer, you break trust. The person will not come back to you. The second thing I look for is premium products. Now, this depends on the size of your audience, but I personally won't recommend something that costs $10. It's just not worth it. Now, obviously, if you can refer 100,000 people to buy that $10 thing and you earn a 50% commission, that's a different story. But you need a huge audience to do so. And personally, my audience is quite small. And so I prefer to recommend premium items, which are typically $100 and above. However, there's one exception, and that is subscription products. I would rather make $100 every month than get paid $2,000 one time. And so I will promote products that are $10 a month. They do pay me an ongoing commission. Ideally though, I'd promote premium products that are subscriptions like Kajabi, part free four lucrative types of affiliate programs. The most lucrative affiliate offers usually fall into one of four categories. First, software. Softwares are usually easy to sell to businesses because there's an immediate need and businesses tend to be more willing to spend money to make money, obviously. And a huge benefit of recommending great software is that software tends to be more expensive and ongoing. So you get the best out of both worlds. Plus, 
most software programs let you test the software first. So it's very easy to enroll someone into new software and it also makes it a much more compelling offer if you can give someone an extended trial or a special deal. Lastly, promoting software programs tend to be very lucrative because the cost of adding an additional user is almost zero, which means they can pay you more to recommend the software. Secondly, tech. Tech like cameras, drones, laptops, smartphones tends to be more expensive. And the cool thing about being an affiliate for tech is that people usually, before they buy a new tech item, read blog posts or watch YouTube videos about the product. If you create product review blogs or videos, you attract people who are ready to buy and are looking to relieve the uncertainty they feel about the product. So if you can give someone the confidence that they are making the right choice, then they will click your affiliate link and purchase through your link. And because tech items tend to cost in the hundreds of thousands, you make a very nice commission. Thirdly, learning programs. The e-learning industry is estimated to be a trillion dollar industry by 2028. And it's already doing almost $1 billion per day. And so if you have invested in a few programs that have really helped you in your life or business, then why not recommend these programs to others and get paid for your recommendation? And then lastly, we've got services. If you're a business owner, have you worked with a freelancer or agency that did some great work for you? Well, guess what? Most of these freelancers or agencies want and need more clients. So why not negotiate a deal to send people their way in return for a cut on the order value? Again, that is a win-win-win. The company you recommend wins because they get free traffic and get great customers because they are coming from you. You win because you extend the value you can offer to your clients and your client wins because they find services they can trust. Obviously, services tend to be high in cost to fulfill, so you're probably not going to get a 50% commission. And that's why I would focus on services that are quite expensive and are ongoing. And if you want to get started with affiliate marketing, think about the products or services you use on a regular basis. Then research whether these companies already have affiliate programs. If they do, create your personal link and then find a non-spammy way promote these affiliate programs. And one of the easiest ways to create traffic is to either leverage an existing audience you already have or create content to attract a new audience. And if you want to create content, then check out this post where I talk about the mistakes I made on YouTube.